Anin Vujou. How's everybody doing this week? Welcome to the week. We're taking a look at the Moose constellation and stars on the rocks. I have been so excited to talk about the topics we're taking a look at this week. Um, it's just been really really looking forward to it. And as I got even more and more into the research for this, I got more and more excited. So I hope you find it as enjoyable as I do. Okay, so we're going to take a look and at how to find the Moose constellation, which is a challenging constellation to find, especially as you're just starting out. Um, the reason we're doing it now is because it's in the sky right now. This is the time as you were reading in Carl Galboy um, when the moose constellation rises in the sky. It also coincides with a good time to be hunting moose uh, for the Anishinaabe in this territory. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to do a combination. Um, we're going to work between seeing the constellations that they have here to help guide us. Um, because uh, I know you guys can access Stellarium here uh, via our indigenous starknowledge.wordpress.com uh, website, um, what I'm calling our fire site, and I have the link, of course. So you can access this page every week by coming here. You can access this page every week by clicking on the week's link in the Educat module for the week, and the Stellarium is always one of the top links on the Indigenous Star Knowledge Fire site page. So you can always access it there if you're um, wanting to use it. Okay, so here's the Stellarium, um, and we are looking for Moose, which in the Western tradition is known as Pegasus. Right now in the Stellarium we're looking north. As you can see, here's Ojig the Fisher we talked about and you know with his head down here and legs also um, quill work girl and her seven brothers and in the Western tradition of course the Big Dipper so we follow those two star those two stars the middle of Vojig his head being down here and the end of quill work girl and of the Big Dipper we follow those two stars up to here to the North Star so let me draw that out for you here These two dots taking us straight up. Okay, so there's our two stars taking us straight up to the North Star. So here we are at the Stellarium, which you can access from our Firesight page. Each week's module on Educat has a link to the current assignment, so you can always on Firesight, so you can always access the Stellarium link at the top of that Firesight page. I'm going to get use this, click this little thing here to get rid of that sidebar. Okay, we're facing north here, and as you see. Here is OG the Fisher that we talked about last week. Also Quill Work Girl and her seven brothers, or in the Western tradition, um, the Big Dipper. And this middle part of OG, or the end part of Quill Work Girl or the, or the Big Dipper, these will point you up, of course, to Gawain the Nun, the North Star, right here. So keep in mind where the North Star is, because now what we're going to do to find Moose, which is a challenging constellation to find, especially if you're just starting out. We're facing north here, of course, there's the North Star. We are going to pretend we're outside, see the horizon, and we're going to turn ourselves to the south. Okay, so now we're facing, we're facing the south. But what I want you to do now is when you're facing south, not just be facing south standing up. I want you to get the full view of the sky right here. So maybe laying down on the beach or wherever you're at, and I want you to keep looking until you find the North Star. Now, if you're having a hard time finding the North Star, the key things you can do is look again back for the Big Dipper or Ojik. Look for those two stars, and you know it's going to be like right about right there. So, we do this a little bit more. Okay. The two stars. There's the Dipper, or OG, or Quill Work Girl, and the two stars, and they come right up to here. Now you notice that the Milky Way goes down right through the middle here. The Moose is going to be just on the other side. Moose is going to be just on the other side of the Milky Way. In fact, right here, you see a big square in this section over here. You see four stars that make a big square. I see two places. Here's one, and here's another. You actually want the biggest one right here. 
In the Western tradition, <clears throat> this is known as Pegasus. So what we're going to be looking up, it was, we're going to be looking up the great square of Pegasus, that's the body of the moose. And over here is going to be the head, I'll trace this all out, and Lacerta, Lacerta. Lacerta is going to be the antlers of the moose. Okay, so Pegasus tra traces similar outlines to the moose, but then Lacerta is, in Ojibwe uh, traditions, is connected as the antlers. So, just to take a look here, here you have Ojik, or the um, co-worker, or the Big Dipper, and then over here you have Mong the loon, and there is Gawain and Nan, do you see that? So those two stars connecting to the North Star, if you're looking straight up at the sky and you're facing south, that you put your feet to the south, um, and then look lay down and look straight up at the sky. Go from Oji, those two marker stars, directional stars, to Gawain and Nan, the North Star, cross the Milky Way, and find that big square that's on the other side of the Milky Way in the eastern part of the sky. So you're looking to the south and on the eastern half, and there you're going to find the great, the great square there that is Moose, or in the Western tradition, Pegasus. So I'm going to take the constellation markers off here, and we'll do that again. So I want to draw on the outside of the stars so you can still see the stars. So here we have Ojig, Quillwokerl, or Big Dipper, right? And then we have those pointer stars. So here you have the pointer stars that go straight to Gawain Anang, or the North Star. And then I want you to follow, use that North Star, or Gawain Anang, to cross the Milky Way. Here we go, crossing the Milky Way. Look at us voyaging across. And there's that first square in the Great Square, in the Great Square of Moose, or in the Western tradition, the Great Square of Pegasus. Okay, so I'm going to take that last arrow off and make it a less obvious one. Okay, so I'm going to make it white just so we can use red to mark out the constellation. So here's going and on to the um, star, in, one of the stars in the Great Square of Moose, the Great Square of Pegasus. All right, now here comes the even more challenging part. I'm going to draw a line connecting between the, the stars as much as possible so you can see it. This is drawing out the body of the moose right now. Okay, and in here, these two stars are the heart of the moose. Here, you can draw a leg down between those two stars, and then you can draw a bent leg from here and then between those two stars. And then here, Draw the first neckline, and here you can see is the bell of the moose that will hang down on the moose if you take a look. And then you can draw the head, draw in the draw jawline, and then connecting between these stars here for the nose, and then going back here, beginning of the head, and up to here. Now from here you start to see different drawings. People go different places um, to get the antlers. But what I typically see, or what I, I see when I look at the sky, is kind of a zigzag situation, kind of like right here for the antlers. And there you have the moose. So I hope it helps give you an idea of how you can find moose in the sky using going to none or the North Star. So that's what the moose looked like when I draw it on the computer. It wouldn't look much better in pencil, but this is what it's supposed to look like. This is a painting my mom did. Like I said, it'll be a challenging one to find. And if you're not actually able to find it, that's all right. Just give it a really, really good shot and see, see what you find along the way. All right. Well, I hope that helps. Bama P. See you later.